In ancient Roman times, this device that looked like a fireplace and a stove all at once was central to a Roman's house. It was called a hearth and it was placed in a room called the atrium. In the roof of the atrium was a hall through which water dropped into a depression in the floor. A system. External fluids entered this room and were stored here. These fluids were vital to the functioning of this Roman structure. This room was central to the Roman household. This concept was picked up by classic English literature. In the classic novel Moby Dick, an insanely berserk Captain Ahab repeatedly thrust a harpoon into the side of the great white whale strapped to the beast side madly screaming at the top of his lungs from hell's heart I step at thee thou damnedest whale from the very core of hell a half hatred would strike. So from this room sprang water and heat. This room was the cornerstone of life. Now, this is the anterior vena cava. It brings blood into the heart. So, it is a vein. This is the posterior vena cava. It also brings blood into your heart. It too then is a vein. Both of these veins dump blood into the first of four chambers in your heart. Chamber number one is called the atrium. The right atrium. The atrium of the heart is its core. It is where life begins. Blood fills up this right atrium and then passes through this door, which we'll talk about very soon. Into the next room, oh no, no, chamber called the right ventricle. 